Well, we got a couple old guys playing golf, and we have a really good wheelie hill. Should we be respectful? I guess that's a no. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I got a new tire. It's a Kinda 277, 5.1 wide or whatever. I don't know, inches, I think. So on uh, my last video, I did a lot of chaser wheelies. When my bike leaned to the left. Now I'm doing a lot of slow wheelies and my bike leans to the right. I don't know why my bike leans to the right now, but it does. Ever since I've put on this tire, Started leaning to the right, but I figured out my, uh, I figured out that my sway arm, with the chain tensioners, they weren't, they weren't the same length or whatever. So, uh, I fixed that and it was better, but still didn't fix it all the way. So I was like, okay, well maybe if I, you know, put my back wheel pointing to the left, I'll lean left again. Well, that was not true. So I'm pretty sure now it's just all in my head. And ever since I realized it was on my head, I've been able to slow my wheelies down like that. Alright, so I have a lot of stuff to go over with you guys today. Okay, let's just get right into it. This guy named Niche Rider, who rides like a Ninja 250 in Florida. He made a video talking about new moto vloggers. That was a pretty good video topic, and I just want to go along with that. Whoa, there's a dip in the road. So he made a video topic about new moto vloggers and how we should help them out, you know, like give them tips, shout outs, because you know, well, I'm not very big at all. Don't get me wrong. I guess like, you know, I'm still small and stuff. But uh, I've been going at it for like a year now, and I think I got a pretty good system on what I'm doing. So I just want to let you guys know that now that it's during summer and not the school year, that I have a lot more time to look at other channels. You know what I mean? I mean, for, for example, during the school year, uh, Do It With Dan commented on one of my videos, and I had no idea who he was. Then I come this summer, and, uh, and I'm like, wow, this guy's awesome. Who is this Do It With Dan? Who's that? And I look back at one of my videos, and I'm like, what the heck, dude, Dan commented on one of my videos? He even said he subbed, like, what? Okay, so dude, Dan, if, you still, if you're still subscribed to me, what's up, dude? So that should show you right there how out of the loop I was during the school year. Like, I just made videos like once a month, maybe. So now that I have more time, I want to check out the smaller channels like me, and I want to interact with you guys more. I want you guys to comment, and I want, I want you guys to let me know what you want to see. Tell me what you like, off-road, on-road, wheelies, whatever. If you want me to do anything, just let me know what you want me to do and I will try to do it. Unless I hate it, <laughs> then I won't. If you have a YouTube channel and you moto vlog, uh, comment below and be like, hey, stick, check me out, you know, whatever, check it out. And I'll be glad to check it out. I've gotten a little bit better at standards too, guys. It's a little downhill standard. So let me know if you have your own YouTube channel and you want me to check it out. I'll be glad to. You know, if I really, really like your stuff, I won't hesitate to shout you out. Like, why not? Just like Niche Rider. I mean, that guy's awesome. If you don't know who that is, go check that guy out. And uh, if you don't know who Rider Map is, check him out too. Um, I guess I'm going on a shout out tangent right now. Uh, Game King Drew, that guy sent me a sticker, so he's awesome. Go check him out. I don't even think he subs to me. So that's all I can think of right now. Um, I love standing wheelies. Woo! Yeah, I don't know where standards came out of, guys. They just came out of the blue. I just started doing them. You know what happened? I freaking, like I told you guys, my bike leaned one way, and I started just doing standards for fun off of, like, top of hill, just, like, yanking it up and doing standards. And uh, I realized I could turn way easier while I was doing a standard. So I started doing standards more until I learned how to, you know, control my bike. I don't know. But uh, I don't know guys, I feel like that there's this uh, little community of like the smaller vloggers and I feel like I'm kind of out of it, you know what I mean? I want to I get into it, you know what I mean? 
like uh, they do all these like uh, like hangouts or whatever you know like they have like live streams I've been trying to get in there a little more with like back road moto or something like that and like moto twitch those are the only guys I can really think of but uh, I want to get in our little community a little more you know what I mean like the smaller guys I want to get in there and you know interact with you guys because I feel like I go and look at all these smaller guys' videos and they have like tons and tons of comments you know of other smaller moto vloggers and I like don't have any I mean I have you know I, I feel like my videos don't have as many comments and is that much interaction so I want to interact with you guys more is what I'm trying to say My knobby on the front is like really worn and bumpy and wheelie. Let's do a, uh, a standard. You know what I can turn. Oh, that might be the longest stander I've ever done in my entire life right there, boys and girls. Hope you're impressed. Oh, that was kind of mean to say. Oh, that was sweet. The only thing about standards is it takes so much energy because I'm like, holding on for dear life, like, oh no. Well, all right, guys, comment below, please, and interact with me. See you guys next time.